Okay, we're going to have a look now at a slightly different sort of fractional scale factor. So we're doing an enlargement, change of size. The scale factor here is 3 over 2. Now that's an improper fraction. We've not dealt with those before. What we've got to think about is what that actually means, 3 over 2. Well, that's 3 lots of, so we've got a multiplication, and a half. So we've got a times by 3 there. And we've also got a divide by 2. So our fractional scale factor, when it's an improper fraction, gets broken up into a times by the number on the top and a divide by the number on the bottom. So to work out where my new points are going, I'm going to be multiplying by 3 and then dividing by 2. So same process again. There's A, B, C and D. Then we'll start with A. That is 3 squares right and 2 squares down. So 3 right, 2 down. So we'll take each one of these now, multiply it by 3 and then divide by 2. So 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So we can see it's going to get a little bit messy because we've got to do a half square in there. Looking at the 2 down, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we're going to be going 3 down. So starting from our centre, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half, 3 down, so my new point A is going to be there. Same process now for the other points. B is 6 across and 2 down. So 6 multiplied by 3 is 18, divided by 2 is 9. So my new B is going to have to be 9 squares to the right, and then if it was two squares down, it's going to end up being three squares down. So nine right, three down, takes us to there. Same process for C, that's six right and two up. Now six times three is 18, divided by two is nine. And then 2 times 3 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So it's going to go 3 squares up. And D is 3 right, 2 up. So that's going to become 4 and a half right and 3 up. All I need to do then to finish the question is just join those points up to form a rectangle. So there's our enlargement done. Now to check it, we can just have a look. So that was 4, and it's gone. 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, so that's correct. And then 3 times 3 is 9, divided by 2 is 4.5. So that length there is correct as well. Now we looked at our first fractional scale factor when it was a quarter. And that made the shape smaller. Now we've got a fraction here that's made the shape bigger. And to understand why that is, we've got to look at what these numbers are. So a quarter as a decimal is 0 0.25. 3 over 2, or 3 halves as a decimal, is 1.5. So here, a scale factor of a quarter, we've got a decimal between 0 and 1, and that made the shape smaller. If we've got 3 halves or something like that, a decimal that's bigger than 1, my shape ends up bigger. Okay, so you now know that if you've got a fractional scale factor, 
If the fraction is between 0 and 1, the shape will get smaller. If the fraction is bigger than 1, then the shape will get bigger. So that's everything you need to know about fractional scale factors.